dearly beloved in Christ Jesus i invite you all to today's program oh jesus talk to me i hope that you are staying secure and joyful in your house may god bless you all abundantly may the word that i bring to you today bring you fruit in your life not 30 fold 60 fold but 100 fold be joyful do not worry for anything may god bless you all let us turn to god's word now <coughs> matthew 17 verses 12 and 13 but i say unto you that elias is come already and they knew him not but have done unto him whatsoever they listed likewise shall also the son of man suffer of them then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of john the baptist dearly beloved these verses when you read you can clearly know that the lord jesus christ is telling john the baptist is the fulfillment of the prophecy that elijah is to come into the world there's a prophecy that elijah should come before the coming of messiah and they asked the lord jesus christ oh who is elijah lord and the lord told it is john the baptist you see it will be very interesting when you look at it more carefully john's gospel the first chapter and the 21st verse says like this and they asked him what then or though elias and he saith i am not or though that prophet and he answered no when the religious leaders asked john the baptist are you that prophet he told no are you elijah he told no i am not elijah see the lord jesus christ is telling that john the baptist is elijah that is to come but john the baptist is telling he is rejecting the idea that he is the fulfillment of the prophecy that elijah is to come when i read both of these verses holy spirit god inspired me there are many things that people are unaware of they do not know many things you might be destined for a prophecy to be fulfilled you might be a forerunner of something that god is to do in a church or in any organization you might be someone that god has destined but you are telling i am nothing i am useless no no brother no sister god has destined you for a greater task he has kept things in mind jeremiah 29 11 says for i know the plans that i have for you the plan is to prosper you and not to harm you god knows the plan but if you want to know the plan for your life you have to ask him like how rebecca asked the lord in genesis 25 verses 22 and 23 we can see when rebecca inquired of the lord concerning the children in her womb god told there are two nations that will depart from your womb two kinds of people will come out and separate the elder one will serve the younger one god told and because of that rebecca took heart and in later days persuaded jacob to be blessed of isaac and esau was left without any blessing or with a few blessing see this is the plan of god he knows that you are elijah but you are telling i am not elijah just like john the baptist told i am not elijah but the lord jesus christ told yes he is elijah you do not know how much greater plan that god has for you the plan he has for you is greater is bigger than how um is greater is so greater you are thinking you are nothing but god is telling i have a great plan for you i have a great purpose in your life so take heart and be blessed and let us pray now lord jesus christ we come into your precious throne i have told this people what john the baptist told about him and what the lord jesus christ told about john the baptist he was a fulfillment of the prophecy that elijah is to come into the world he was a forerunner of messiah hallelujah he did not recognize it lord but if he could have inquired of the lord he could have revealed it to him but we are asking lord reveal your will in your life and let us fulfill the will that you have for us let us run for you let us do your purpose let us glory for you let us glory for you hallelujah lord bless every one of them and protect them 
We thank you for hearing and answering the prayer. We ask this, all these things, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, O Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen.